on the search for what are we here for again? I added a third shelf. Just mopping the sauce. We have several projects that we're working on to finish our to-do list, which does mean lots of trips. So, fasten up your seatbelt, we're going to take you along for the ride. Ooh, pretty flowers. I don't think we need a card. Nope. On the search for what are we here for again? Bolts in the wood. Oh yeah. Okay. Whose size is it? Quarter inch twenty. Cool. Get some wood. with the depot. Yeah. Yeah. I will love him and hold him and call him George. Mm, which one is it? <laughs> Making some headway here. Still have a bit to go, but we're hitting some biggies. So definitely, a, definitely getting closer. We're working on another project and this time it is mine, not Gary's. I'm working on making blackout shades for our camper. First off, I know I can go ahead and get blackout shades and replace the ones in our camper, but realistically they were kind of expensive and I really didn't want to spend the money on that. So we're going to make inserts made out of Reflectix and some other black material to make it look nice from the outside and the inside. 
I was looking at a lot of van life videos and really liked the idea of being able to put magnets in a reflective uh, piece on there, uh, just quick, easy on and off. As you probably know, the windows on the campers are aluminum and they're not magnetic. I bought these magnets that I'm using. They come in 20 a pack, compact, thin, but fairly long, which is nice and then kind of glued them on with a VHB material. I purposely got the black ones so they blend well, so if you're just a little bit further away, you can't even tell that they're there. So I'm using Reflectix as the middle base and using a different kind of material. It's more of an outdoor material for the inside and outside coverings on that. I wanted to have something that was a little bit more water resistant. It is quite thick. It's like a vinyl on one side. Actually, I took down the balance to get a good measurement on that. Oh, yeah, isn't that nice? I'm just wires hang in there. But anyway, get the measurements on there. I created my little uh, template for the corners. Uh, and cut out the Reflectix to match that, plus just a smidge of extra. Uh, I went ahead and added the magnets on the window, and now I'm going back and correlating them with the same location on, on, on the Reflectix. I'm using painter's tape just because it will be an easy quick on and off if I need to modify it. These magnets are really strong, so you do have to be careful of when you're working with them. I have broken one or two of them uh, when I had them close and they just smashed together. Now I've attached the other ones with the masking tape on there, and I'm just going to put it on the window to make sure that everything lines up well. Yeah, so what do you do when it's cloudy and potentially supposed to be rainy? Well, you create shades for the camper. Oh yeah, and smoking some brisket over there too. So. I consider myself minimally effective at sewing, and this was a doable project for me. The biggest challenge was not getting those magnets with the sewing needle. I broke three needles in the process. To make it look a little nicer, I bought some bias tape, which cleaned up the edges nicely and covered up a lot of my sewing mistakes. And this is the final product for our dinette uh, window. I think it's pretty good. It is a little large, but it does seem to go up. Those magnets work pretty well. Um, and when you take it down, it is foldable, which is kind of nice. Um, we have, uh, I did complete this for the dinette as well as the bedroom, the bathroom, and the one in the living room. So pretty excited about this. Uh, hopefully this helps you make a decision whether you want to do one of these two. We've been battling the weather while we've been in Illinois. Packing up our trailer has certainly taken longer than planned, but we're just working in between the raindrops. Another small project that I got complete was to work on our medicine cabinet. I made a third shelf that gave us a lot more room for a lot of our incidentals. It's pretty straightforward. I had some spare Luan. This was made only with spare material that I had. I had a spare piece of Luan. Um, this was a strip from one of the previous projects. And then I had some of this square one by one wood for, from another project and used that just to kind of uh, keep things in there and bracing underneath. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is definitely effective. Here we are, the new Trigger Grill smoking a powder mound down there. A little bit 
too much of the heat out. Whoops, got to check the pellets. Okay, I'll get some good smoke coming out of there. We missed our rectag. Well, the only way we could fit this into our camper, the rectag was just too tall. So in order to fix it, fit this into flank sides when the camper's on, we had to go with this Traeger. Not my first choice, but it works. All right, so we got this new Traeger. Uh, it's a little um, a miniature smoker, and we're able to get a rack and a half of ribs on. Now I'm using, and we've done this for three hours. I'm going to do the three, two, one method. So I've done this. Got good caramelization of the the uh, rub that we used. Uh, it is a Simon's rub. Um, yes, it is for my brother, um, and we coated that, and it seems to work pretty well. All right now, I'm going to get ready to foil these. Um, put them back on the grill for two hours. Just mopping the sauce. Just mopping the ribs with some sauce. Simon's barbecue rib sauce. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, or even better, share with a friend. See you next week.